These past two weeks were a wake up call and I made some horrible mistakes along the way. Um, we're gonna talk about it. So, hey everybody, I'm Jen and this is where I usually start my video saying I've lost 85 pounds like, like the past couple videos, but I have to be honest, it's looking more like 83 pounds now. So what does that mean? I gained two pounds. Now, full disclaimer, the mistake is not in gaining the weight. It's more of the decisions or the habits that went back into, you know, what caused this. I don't want to turn anybody off, you know, that is watching this and saying this girl is, you know, being so dramatic over two pounds. I want to assure you that is not the case in this video. Um, but I am currently taking 7.5, which is a drop from 10 that I was on, you know, previous, you know, past couple weeks. And I've been taking Manjaro for a tad over 15 months now. And, you know, the highest dose that I've ever gone up to was 12.5. And when I did that, it was just way too strong for me. So I made the decision after talking to my doctor to go back down to 10. And now he wants me on 7.5. But for that later half of June, I was making horrible decisions left and right. I was feeling, you know, very frustrated. And I'm hoping I can channel my frustrations here because we are all solution oriented and hopefully I can channel my frustrations of, you know, what I've been doing, you know, the past two weeks into lessons learned. And, you know, this can maybe help you navigate through your Manjaro or Zepbound weight loss journey. We are all going to chat about, or I'm going to be chatting about, you know, my plans, how I'm going to fix it and what really happened. And just a reminder, hit that subscribe button, you know, if you're just starting taking Manjaro and Zepbound, or, you know, maybe you've been taking it for the, you know, the past couple weeks and months, um, go ahead and check out some of my other videos on, you know, doses, injection sites, you know, what I eat in a day, breaking a stall, and so much more, so much great content for you to check out. And as I've said before, yes, I've gained two pounds, and yes, I'm excited that I'm still losing, you know, or I have lost 80 plus pounds, and I'm sticking to my weight loss plan, and still trying to build those happy, you know, healthy habits, but what really annoys me about that two pound weight gain is that it was 100% self-inflicted. It wasn't dropping down to 7.5 or the lack of appetite suppression, but you know, up until this point in my journey, the most I've gained was maybe a pound, and then that following week, I was back to losing. So even though I've said I've made some mistakes, I'm well aware that, you know, I'm still learning how to live, you know, this new life of mine, one of which I am at the healthiest I have been in years. Um, and I'm finally comfortable in my own skin and loving, you know, my newfound love of fitness and fashion because I love to get dressed up, but my style, it was hard for me to find in, you know, size 18 and 20. And even when I did, it just never really looked right on me. But, you know, after 15 months of healing my relation, or what I thought was healing my relationship with food and compulsive, you know, eating, I still have my moments. And I can say that, you know, I don't want to be that person, you know, I was in the past, but I need to embrace the old me and continue to learn. And I've lost weight in the, you know, years past. And I would say, I want to never get back to that weight again for me to then regain it, you know, times two. And it was because I never accepted that I had an unhealthy relationship with food. You know, when I hit, you know, my protein goals and I stay hydrated and I avoid like ultra processed foods, cookies, candies, I honestly feel the best version of myself. And, you know, even though throughout, you know, the past 15 months of taking Manjaro, I've allowed myself to indulge on occasions. This, you know, was the first time I couldn't kick my impulses that day because I've had a rule from day one and that is nothing is off limits, but if I have somewhat of an unhealthy meal or I indulge in some snacks, the next two to three meals will be healthy. And really what I mean by this is that, let's say I had a bad you know, dinner or unhealthy dinner last night. Today, I'm going to refocus and refuel with the items for my healthy food list. And I've been doing that you know, this entire time. And you know, sometimes I would say, you know, what? what would the healthy Jen choose to eat? And I know that sounds really weird, but it's a habit I have learned over the past couple months. I'd be like, what would a healthy Jen eat? But the last two weeks of June was one where I didn't follow that rule. 
And I think I got a tad ahead of myself, maybe a little cocky, you know, taking this medicine. And what I mean by that is, you know, at night, I didn't plan my dinner and maybe I would decide I went to Chick-fil-A, which is perfectly fine. But then the next day, it started off with a breakfast sandwich. And then, you know, after a great gym session, I'd stop in Wegmans because I had to pick up a couple items. And next thing you know, I have some chocolate chip cookies in my cart and I didn't just eat one, you know, I'd eat both of them. And then I decided, you know, that night, you know, I could go for some pizza. And I woke up that following morning and weighed in like, you know, I usually do and great. The scale didn't move. I really indulged and the scale held up. No weight loss or gain. That's a win, right? So instead of regrouping and getting back on track, I kept up with, you know, adding more and more of these bad foods into my day. And I wasn't even craving them, but I felt like I could enjoy this because this medicine will allow me to have, you know, some unhealthy foods and not affect me. You know, I would sit down and I would eat two donuts after a workout. Like that's not a great way to refuel um, and, you know, just cancel out all my hard work. Now, I didn't have any side effects, thankfully, from all the sugar and fat. And honestly, you know, I wasn't really thinking too much about the food, but I just kept stopping on the way home from gym, like the gym and grabbing snacks to enjoy. And that was my kryptonite from 2022 to 2023, where I would just snack all the time and the weight would pile on. So, you know, a couple days go by and you know, I'm now no longer planning my meals or sticking to my shopping list. And I got on that scale thinking, I'd probably see the same number. I'm not gonna gain, I'm not gonna lose, I'll be fine. But I was up two pounds. And it was at that moment I knew I messed up. Or really my time has run out and I needed to see maybe that weight gain to refocus my efforts and priorities into back to eating healthier. Because I can't lie, there were times probably over the past 15 months where you know I'd get on that scale and I would brace myself because I didn't eat as well you know as I thought I should that week and you know then I'd see that I lost weight and as shock as shocking as that was I would keep pushing along and having you know a better week with my food choices and I you know I wasn't ashamed to say I gained weight at any point I don't want that to come off like I was ashamed but you know. I didn't really practice what I've been doing the past 15 months. And, and if I keep it up at this pace, I'd probably put on 10 pounds before I'd know it. And the medicine really was not going to stop me. And I couldn't believe that after 15 months, I still have these urges, but that is my reality. And I wanted to share this story with you, you know, not so that you can avoid this, but just that we have reasons why we are taking Manjaro or Zepbound or Terzepatide for weight loss. And that even if you are on this medicine, these things can happen. Um, my bad habits crept back in and I'm just thankful that I'm stopping it now before I can reverse all of this hard work. Because as my doctor has told me, it's going to be a lifelong battle. And that's not, a, that's not stressful to me, you know, cause years of compulsive eating and weight gain followed by, you know, quick weight loss to then rebound and you know, double that weight gain is not going to be solved in a year or two. And, you know, I wish that wasn't the case, but I've learned so much about myself during my weight loss journey. And I'm probably gonna learn so much more while I'm taking Manjaro and, you know, as much as you may not agree with this statement, but I hated the way I felt when I was obese and the limitations that came with it from me. Now, that doesn't mean I hated myself, it's just that I'm well aware of how much better I feel on a day-to-day -day basis when I'm at a healthy weight and fueling my body with the right foods for me. And I've always loved working out and now I'm finally going to the gym and seeing progress and trying new things without like that fear of really hurting myself. Because one thing that will never go away is my competitive drive and spirit to just better myself and to keep learning, which is why I love this platform. I follow so many people not to overwhelm myself, but to learn and grow because there are so many others out there like myself who have, you know, good days and bad days while taking Manjaro or Zepbound. And, you know, 
I think like what the great thing is, is that, you know, my good days now are far outnumbering my bad days or my slip ups. So for now, I'm getting back to my meal planning because I am killing it in the gym with my workouts. I'm loving my gym routines. And I even met with a trainer last week to go over, you know, how can I improve my mobility and flexibility? And I was more sore after that session than I was a couple days prior when it was my leg day, which is crazy to think about that. But, um, but the message I wanna leave is that you should embrace those bad days because that is where you can really learn the most about yourself. I learned that yes, I can slip up and recognize what went wrong and I can get back on track a lot quicker than I ever have in the past because one bad day of eating would turn into a month, then three months, and I would wonder, how did I gain 20 pounds? But you know, in actuality, I knew what I was doing to myself and I didn't care back then. The, the difference is I care now and I'm not dwelling on my mistakes, but learning from them. And that two pounds, that's two pounds. I'm moving on. And, and I wanna wrap um, I wanna wrap up the first half of 2024 and say that I'm even more excited for what's in store for the second half, not only in my weight loss journey, but you know, I'm calling this like my reawakening. My weight is no longer holding me back from enjoying, you know, the things in my life. And, you know, I'm scheduling time now with a therapist, which I probably should have done from the beginning. Lesson learned. And I'm working, you know, I'm gonna start working with a dietitian for the next phase of my journey. And and as much as it may pain me, I'm starting to explore options for a new doctor that can help me continue my weight loss journey, that that's their specialty, has a better understanding of obesity management with Manjaro or Zepbound for that long run. Um, more details on that if actually I do make the switch and what I learned from that, because the more I'm researching you know, from studies, and as I said before, learning from all of you in the comments and watching other amazing videos out there, uh, you know, on this particular topic of Manjaro and Zepbound for weight loss, I'm not sure my doctor has a true understanding of long-term use and whether decreasing my dose while I'm still actively trying to lose and get into a normal weight range is the right decision for me at this time. But all I can do is just research my options and figure out what is the best for me. And I'm on day four of my new 30 day back on track plan. And I can't wait to share with you, you know, what that entails. And, you know, you'll have to wait to see really if I can make it 30 days without weighing myself and, you know, sticking to only my meal plan. And I've actually eliminated all bad snacks. And I got, I got this and, you know, I think it's, you know, 30 days and I can handle this. It's not permanent, but I felt like I wanted to prove to myself that I have that willpower to say no, even if it's just for 30 days, it's not going to be permanent. I still have to have a, build a healthy relationship with food, but I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. I can't thank you all for the amazing comments on my past videos, and I'm so inspired by all of your journeys. And I would love you know, for you to comment on, really, I know this is a tough one to ask, but what has been your big, biggest struggle up until this point and how you've overcome it? Um, and please don't forget to like this video. I hope, I really hope you all had a fantastic 4th of July, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.